Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. My name is Fungusaurus Rex and in the previous episodes we set ourselves the goal of obtaining full netherite armor. And well, we almost got there but we fell a little bit short, we're halfway there because we needed a few more things like some books and some XP. And we have been trading with our villagers hard at work to get that done. And yes, we have some Unbreaking 2 books, we've got some Sharpness 4, and we have some Mending. So, let's see if this guy wants to trade. Oh, I don't have enough sticks. Okay, never mind. Let's get back to business. And here we go. The next item we will be turning into Netherite is our Diamond Leggings. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got everything we need. So, let's get to it. In go our diamond, in go our, um, and this is the wrong table. We need this one. So, here we go. And we have some netherite pants. And next up, of course, will be our boots. But for that, we're going to need just a little bit more XP. And we're going to be needing this netherite armor. Because today, we are going to find the end portal. So let's just gather up some sugarcane here, and we'll get right back to trading. And while I'm in the village, I've decided to pick up some of these melons, and I see this guy has managed to get himself trapped right here. I've no idea how he got in there, but let's see if we can help him out. So we're just going to grab some... Uh, some dirt and just place it down there and there and that should dry it up and you sir should be able to get right out. So I'm just going to gather up this wheat as well so I can trade with a farmer and then I'm gathering up every melon seed I can find because I'm going to build a melon farm as well so we can trade with our farmer a bit quicker. So let's just grab these and then... Oh, seriously, are you now stuck in the other one? All right, let's see what we can do about that. Let me just put down some dirt there. And you, sir, are free to get back to work. All righty, I think we've just about gathered up everything we need here. Maybe just a few more melon seeds. And then we're just going to grab all of these melons because they are very good indeed for trading with our farmer. And it's time to build a melon farm, just so we can trade a little bit faster. And I'm just going to dig a straight line here, and then one down to the other direction. And that should be the space we're going to utilize for our melon farm. And we're just going to make an endless water source right here. That's two buckets. Let's grab some water. And then we're going to dig a channel and plant some melons on either side of it. So I think I'm going to start right here and dig all the way to the end over there. And that should be our channel. And our first channel is full. The land is laid out. So let's make two or three more of these. And we should have quite a lovely melon farm that's producing many melons for us to trade with our farmers. So I'm just going to go along and fill up the channel. There we go. It's easy once you get started. And then once this is done, I'm just going to use my hoe and hoe down a few patches so we can plant those melon seeds. And this is the last of the channels. Almost done. Just a few more patches of dirt and we can finally get planting. So let's grab those melon seeds. Let's just pop one in each of these and we should have some beautiful melons in no time. And our melon farm is done. Each one of the patches has been planted and we should be trading some melons with our farmer in no time. So while we're waiting for that, we're just going to grab a few more pieces of wheat just to keep it going. And after a lot of trading, I've decided that I need something better for experience. And you might all recall that I saw a skeleton mob spawner around here. So what I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to build a skeleton XP farm. This will allow us to not only get some experience much quicker, but also provide us with a source of arrows and bone meal. 
So let's get going over here. We're just going to grab our pickaxe and dig out the area around the spawner. Just mark off exactly to where we need to dig. Um, one more in this direction and I think two in this direction. And that should be all the space we need. So let's just get going and dig out all of this cobblestone and all of the stone to get the area we need for our spawner. And while I was digging my spawner, I realized that my sword is a piece of rubbish. So I've decided to come back here and make a better one. And yes, we're going to make a netherite sword. So let's start off with a diamond sword, of course. And then from there, uh, I'm in the wrong place again. We'll just pop this in there and we have a netherite sword. And now we will apply our Unbreaking 3 as well as our Sharpness 4. Actually, I think it would be better to combine these two books first. So let's do that. There we go. And then we will just apply the single book to our sword. And there we go. We have quite a potent weapon, which means I can banish this old relic to the junk box. And our skeleton spawner XP farm is finally done. So all we need to do is just break these dirt blocks and remove the torch. And oh goodness, yes, you can see it's already working. So let's just get rid of these. Let's pop in two blocks here just to get it nice and dark. And then we wait as the skeletons will start pouring down at any second now. Any second now. I think let's just put a carpet in there while we're waiting. And oh yes, a block up at the top might be quite useful. And as you can see, all of our things are coming through to the chest quite nicely. So everything is working, but it is night time. So let's sleep. And let's just grab our bed and then we will go and wait for our first skeletons to appear. They are taking their very sweet time. So here we go. It's the waiting game once again. Let's see how many skeletons we get and how quickly they come through. We haven't got anybody just yet. So we might need to wait just a little bit longer. And they really are taking forever. Let's just have a snack while we wait. Let's just see if any came through while we were sleeping. Oh, we have a customer and yes, here they are. And there we go. XP, arrows and bones. And as I was making my way back to the village, I ran into this rowdy mob. So let's just take care of them quickly with my powerful new sword. I already had the bad omen from a pillager patrol earlier, so I might just need to find a cow before I go back to the village. So let's do that first and not spawn a raid. And the cow has been acquired. Come here, bossy. I need your milk. And there we go. We have milk and no more bad omen. So we can make our way back to the village and carry on about our business. Let's go. And after a little bit more trading, ladies and gents, it is time. Our final piece of armor is ready for netherite. Let's just see if we can apply these other books. No, uh, it's too expensive. I am out of levels once again, so I'll have to do that later. So let's just uh, pop these books back in there and then we'll grab our netherite ingot. Uh, let's see. I think I'll grab two, so I'll put it on my pickaxe as well. So that's two ingots and here we go. Firstly, our boots. And we are finally covered in debris. And just look at that, full protection for netherite armor. And just look at that netherite gleam. Fungosaurus is looking mighty menacing in his netherite gear. And we will need to be quite menacing indeed because we are on the hunt for enderpoles. And the best way to get them is of course to annoy some endermen here in the nether. Um, 
Here's another one. Oh, 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 where's my hidey hole? Oh, goodness. I've lost my hidey hole. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's hope he gives us some pearls. Let's see. Come closer, sir. And yes, we have some ender pearls. And we have tracked down a nether fortress because we need some blaze rods. You guessed it. We are making eyes of ender so let's just get that blaze over there and take down that skeleton even though we covered in netherite armor we're just going to be very careful about this and there we go we have our first blaze rod oh and i see some nether wart there as well i'm going to grab that because we're going to be making some potions as well so let's just gather up all of this and also grab the nether wart on the other side and as we now have netherwort, we need a place to grow it. And I'm making a little damp, dark cave to grow our netherwort. And I'm just building it right here next to my house in the side of the mountain. So let's just uh, get the shape going over here. I think a few more blocks on this side ought to do it. And now it's time to plant our netherwort. And just look at that, a damp little cave where we can grow this precious, precious red stuff. And of course, it won't be a damp, dark cave without just a little bit of mossy cobblestone. And I think this is starting to look really good. Time for some bushes to give it that overgrown feel. So I think we'll just put down a few more over here as well. And that will blend in quite nicely with our waterfall. I think just one more up there. And we're just putting down a few more final touches and decorations on the inside. And finally, I think our netherwort cave is complete. And it is looking absolutely charming. And here we go, ladies and gents. It is time to make some eyes of ender. So let's just get some blaze powder. Put our ender pulls in blaze powder and there we go. Now all that's left to do is get outside, throw these bad boys and follow them to the stronghold. I think we have everything we need so let's get going. And at this point I made a big song and dance about throwing my first ender pearl, which of course you don't get to see because apparently I suck at pressing record. So. What you get to see is me actually throwing, I think this is my third one, and yes, we are going in that direction, crossing the mighty ocean, in search of the stronghold. And we have come across a dark oak forest, and we forgot to bring a bed, which is problematic because it is night. It's a dark oak forest, and as you know, a lot of mobs spawn in these things. So I think what I might need to do is perhaps, yeah, you can hear them over there. You can hear them everywhere. So what I need to do is just box myself in here with some dirt and wait until the morning. So here we go. Let's just build ourselves the tiniest of boxes, close it up at the front. And then we'll just wait for morning. And morning has broken, so it's time to continue our journey. And I think our last ender pull pointed us in this direction, so we'll keep going that way. And, and here it is. I have a sneaky suspicion that the stronghold is right underneath our feet. So I think what we're going to do is we'll grab our shovel and then we'll just start digging down and we're going to do it in a nice orderly spiral fashion as to not fall into any lava or anything and die. We've been digging for quite some time so yes yes we have arrived. So I think let's just dig out a little bit more here and then let's grab our pickaxe and get ourselves into the stronghold. So we'll start over there Take this one out as well and there we go i spy we have reached the stronghold and the silverfish just reinforced that so let's get a torch up in here and there we go let's just make a nice little staircase 
which should take us right into the stronghold. Oh, we got some more of these guys. They really don't do much damage, but they're just super annoying. Anyway, let's continue our staircase down so we can get in and out of the stronghold with ease. And then, of course, we'll just take care of this silverfish as well. And I think through this door, we have reached the library room, which is excellent. Ooh, Enderpearl. As we can gather up all those books, we can use them to trade with our villagers. And hopefully, we'll get some awesome enchanted books as well. So let's get in there and let's gather up some reading material. I think first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of a few of these cobwebs. So there we go. And then let's get exploring. And we have found some decent books so far. Nothing absolutely groundbreaking, but these could be very, very useful. So let's just grab these. I'll grab that paper and the rest of the books as well. And then I think I'll just plop down my end chest and put some of the stuff in there. And I just realized I don't have anything with silk touch. So I have just put down my ender chest and I cannot remove it. So my ender chest is just going to be chilling here for a little while longer until I get, get something with silk touch to come and pick it up. But I've got another one at home so I can still fill this up with all of these books which will be handy for villager trading. So let's get to it. And this, ladies and gents, is the last of the bookcases. We've got stacks and stacks of books. We've picked up a few more enchanted books as well, which will be very useful. So let's just pop them into our ender chest. And there you can see just how many books we've managed to collect. But that is not why we are here. We are here to find the end portal. And this is it. We have finally found the portal room so i'll just get rid of the spawner quickly and okay well we're one eye of ender short which means we will need to go home and make another one and the quickest way to do that is to be going through the nether so i'm gonna turn all of this lava into obsidian then i'm going to mine it up build myself a nether portal and that should also allow us to travel between home and the end portal much much quicker so let's get going let's mine up this obsidian and let's build ourselves a portal and finally this is the last of the obsidian we're going to mine so let's grab these pieces and I think with these, we should be able to build ourselves a nether portal. And yes, here we go. Let's build ourselves a nether portal. Let's break some obsidian and build our nether portal correctly. So this might take a while. And this time, we're going to be careful. Let's grab our obsidian and one, two, three. Yes, there we go. So all that's left to do is grab our flint and steel and light the sucker up. And here we are. We are back in the nether. So let's just check where we are in relation to our other portal. And then we can just make a straight path between the two and significantly cut down on our travel time between home and the end. And this is the last few blocks, and here we go. We are just about home. Let's just put a few torches down to know which way we need to go. And here we go. And we are finally home, but this is where I'm going to leave it for now. It is day 157. And before I place down the Eyes of Ender, activate the portal and step through, there are quite a few more preparations that I need to make. This will be my first Hardcore End Dragon fight and I want to make sure that I am as prepared as I can possibly be. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did, and if you want to see if I survived the dragon fight, perhaps you should consider subscribing. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye bye.